said I preferred the Sainsbury's Taste the Difference brand, which, here it is. Taste the Difference, and it's a London Porter. Nice little Neptune. Now, those that are experts at their bottle shapes will notice it's a Shepherd and Neems bottle. Because all their bottles are that shape, yeah, and that's unique to them. They actually do a lot of the Sainsbury's brewing. And it actually says, Shepherds and Neil on the bottom somewhere. But this is 5% alcohol. Uh, I don't know if I said that last time. This is 5%. Didn't feel like it, I must admit. I'll crack into this one. No need to do side by side because I remember what that tasted like. But it would have been nice, but okay. I don't want to drink it again, so. Oh, straight away, the porter smell, that famous porter notes of chocolate. Ooh, and toffee, caramelized sugar. Maybe not as dark as toffee, but oh, it's there. Anyhow, let's go for the pour. There's carbon indeed. Ah, that's a good finger. Head. I'm doing with pie, but that's why I put it. But that is a velvet creamy head hanging about. It's pretty big, me, well, big, but biggish bubbles, but the rest of it is like cream and it's hanging around. That's the difference. Oh. And I'm not getting too much aroma off it because of that head. But you can pick out the roasted, the bow alleys, the roasted and dark barleys that come in. Right, let's have a look at the colour on that one. That is black. Like there, that's black. Alright, we'll put these. Here we go. Look at that. Dark as anything. And you can see just a ruby red light. That's Porter. Beautiful. Dark London Porter. My head's starting to sink a little. And there's coffee, there's chocolate. Slight hint of caramel is playing on the back of my tongue here. On the, just on the aroma, you can taste it. Well, time to go in. Now the bitterness of the chocolate is just coming through. And there's this silky, silky flavour of um, 
mouthfeel. It's, it's silky. It's just I love it. It's one of the best porters I think that you can get from a supermarket. Oh. You get like like Cadbury's Bourneville, if you know a uh, dark chocolate, or even like um, cooking chocolate, no, eighty five percent cocoa at least. There's that velvet, silky bitterness that you get with it, and you get the roasted barley come through right at the end, and it's you can tell it's roasted. It's like roasted spuds on a Sunday. It's that good. Oh. So you get the coffee and into chocolate. And you get that chocolate bitterness you get. Uh, maybe with a little bit of the coffee bitterness there as well. And then you're getting what is what is the bitterness of the beer. You'll get it. You're not getting it from the malts because you get the bitterness from the malts. But then you get this bitterness from the from the hop that's in there. And then the roastedness the ro around the cheeks at the back here. That effect it has. And it's not too dry. The other one, the pink panther, that left a bit dry. Nice taste at the end. This is like a royal stout. This is a bordering on porter. This is porter stout. This is right on that between the division. If you wanted to be pedantic about things, because you get that Guinness or a Mackerson, not so much. You get that stout aftertaste, but it's it's not clean. There's that lingering roasted notes of it, like a good stout would have it. It's really lingering. And look at the lacing on it. That's lacing. You don't get it on that little stuff. This is my baby. Um, I love this drink. I honestly do. Yes, it's one of my favourites. But you can go and buy a bottle of porter from a commercial brewery. And they are. Shepherds and Inc. are a good brewery. Um, <clears throat> and you'll pay £2.80, £3.20. Um, I've had some porters from... Uh, a couple of the craft breweries around here, and then when they do them. And yes, they're nice, but are they worth £3.20, £3.80? £4, I paid for one special edition. Uh, that was nice. This, this is sessionable. This is £1.60. So, like $2, you know, $2 for a pint of love, a 500 meal of loveliness is what it is. And that head, is, it's, it's a coffee coloured head, where that one was white, the Pink Panther. This is coffee colour, and this is proper porter. <sighs> and if uh, a certain brewery I know, do watch videos down in the West Country, they do a uh, proper job and other stuff, big proper. And, IPOs, eh? there's a name for you, proper porter, but you're going to make it as good as this. Oh, that's comfort beer for me. That's, to me, this is like, yeah, you can have two of these on the end, you know, end of a tiring week. You, you might go out having a drink, but on a Saturday, good day on the allotment, digging hard. couple of them just before you uh, retire for the evening. This, that type of beer is comfortable, it's warm, it's like a blanket around you. Oh. Well, I'm going to save that and savour it and enjoy it how it should be zero. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope to catch you again. Thanks for watching. Cheers.